You know, one thing I wanted to have a quick conversation with you guys about was who you let influence you and why you let them influence you. Because one thing I fell into when I was younger, and especially growing up where I grew up, you know, rappers were incredibly uh, fantasized about. We all wanted to be rappers. We all wanted to be like a rapper. We all wanted to dress like a rapper. We all wanted to talk and walk and act like a rapper. And, And it was a very strange thing because we were letting these people who, yes, they had money. Yes, they had fame. Yes, they had fortune. Well, those things don't matter. We were letting these people influence us. And letting these people influence you, letting these people kind of have their way with you isn't something you should do. And especially coming from the background that I grew up in, I grew up in a great family. I grew up in a family where we always had things. We always had had abundance. While I don't know what was going on behind the scenes, I would say that we had a pretty strong family growing up. Now, that doesn't mean things were going great behind the scenes because my parents are divorced, but that's a whole conversation for a different day. It led me to do things that was not my character. It led me to do things that I wish I wouldn't have done because it wasn't me. It wasn't in my character and I was letting people influence me who I shouldn't have been letting influence me. And especially while you're young, you're so susceptible to people's ideas. You're so susceptible to people we think is cool's ideas. And letting these people who have no real character development, no real, real, real new ideas for the world influence you isn't the way that you should be going. Because if we're on this idea of betterment, if we're on this idea of self-help, if we're on this idea of, you know, starting a business for ourselves and getting wealthy and becoming the realized idea of ourselves, we shouldn't be letting these people influence us. What we should be doing is letting real influencers influence us, you know, real entrepreneurs, real people of status, real people of wealth, because those real people of of stature are going to help us in the long run. Because when we can model ourselves after these people who have riches, when we can model ourselves after these people who are are glorious, are are, are holy, and we can model ourselves after people we that have actually done something in the world, we start to act like them and we start to walk like them. And it's not a bad thing. What's a bad thing is acting and talking and walking like the wrong person. What's a bad thing is acting, talking and walking like the person you don't want to become because I know firsthand very susceptible people who were young fell into the wrong trap and now look at them I'm not crapping on them what I'm saying is is you need to be very careful of who you let influence you letting the wrong person influence you letting the wrong person have his way and twist you in a way so that you 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 become a person you're not is a very dangerous game because it's going to be very scary later on in life when you realize your full potential Because I guarantee there's going to come a time in everybody's life where they wish they had done one thing or the other. It's going to happen. There's going to be regrets. I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of people out there who are living with regrets because they let the wrong people influence them. You'd be very in denial to believe that you don't have potential. You have potential, but let the right people influence you and let the right people steer you in the right direction so that you can gain that confidence so that you realize you have the potential. You know, if you want to look into this a bit further, think about your older friend, especially, okay, let's say for instance, you're 11, 12, 10, however old you are, you're a younger kid. If you went to a school where it was grade primary or grade one to grade 12, you're you're normally going to have an older friend. You're normally going to have somebody you look up to. And especially as we're young, we're looking up to people that are older. You know, I know when I was younger, I had older kids on my street. Now they might've been 16 and I might've been eight, nine or 10, but that 16 year old was somebody who was very influential to me. That 16 year old or that 17 or 18 year old was somebody I looked up to because they were older, they were cooler, they were doing things that I wanted to do. And they were they, they were this person in my mind who I thought was glorious. They were this person in my mind who I could look up to because they were older and they were cool and I wanted to fit in with them. But one thing that happens is when you mix in with the wrong crowd, it gets very dangerous. Let's say for instance, a 16 year old smoking cigarettes and now you're 10 years old and you want to start smoking cigarettes. Well, isn't that something? Isn't that something that shouldn't be happening? But it's very, it goes to show you how influential people can be in your life because you want to fit in with the crowd. Don't be afraid to get away from the crowd. Don't be afraid to become your own individualized self because becoming your own individualized self and staying away from the crowd and not becoming part of the crowd is going to help you in the long run because you don't get wrapped up into that influence. You know, I know very a lot of people who were hanging around the wrong crowd when they were younger, and now look at them. I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm saying that it's led them to do things that I don't think they wish they had have done. It's this very strong, ongoing mental war in who you're letting influence you because the devil is going to try to wrap people into your life and let them influence you to steer you on the wrong path, right? There, re- there is a very real spiritual war going on on the right and left side of your hemisphere. You got the devil on one side and you got God and Christ on the other. And who you let influence you ultimately is up to you. Who you let influence you is ultimately going to be your decision at the end of the day. Are you gonna let the devil influence you through rappers and people who don't really bring anything to this world other than than 
a fake sense of being, a fake sense of wealth and lead you to do the wrong things that you want to do or you're going to look to the other side and look to the people who are real entrepreneurs or look to the people who are really wealthy and leave an inheritance for their, for their children or you're going to look to the people who provide something for this world, the real ingenuity, the real, the real entrepreneurs, the real minds. Because I'm telling you, you have the ability to let people influence you and you have the ability to become your own entrepreneur and become the best version of yourself. And what I'm truly telling you today is just be very careful of who you let influence you. Change your influences and watch how much you change. Because when you can change who you're idolizing, when you can change who you're becoming, I guarantee you can change the idea of yourself.